Hi and welcome to simplyswim.com. So today we're taking a look through the Garmin Forerunner 310 XT with the heart monitor. Now there's obviously quite a lot to this, so we've decided to do it in this style today just to give you a better insight into the device itself. It's a great training device for triathletes or generally serious swimmers as it allows you to log all aspects of your workouts and just has some really great features to it. So without further ado, just going around the outside to give you an idea of the buttons. So you've got an on and off switch on the side here which simply works by holding it in and you can turn the device off. Really nice feature, because obviously it's not like a normal standard watch. You can turn it off to preserve your battery power. Obviously when you get to the pool, hold it down, turns it all back on again. On here you've got your mode button, which has uh, plenty of modes on here, I'll show you that in a second. Obviously lap and reset by holding it down. Start and stop there for the timer. And on the side, these are the buttons at the top, the arrow buttons that you'll use to scroll through the menu systems. And then right at the bottom is your enter button. Make sure you press this and not start by accident, which I've done quite a few times. <laughs> and then, so basically when you turn it on, it will try to locate a satellite. We're obviously in a studio at the moment, so it's not gonna be able to find anything. So you can just press mode and that'll take you to the home screen, as you see here. Now, as I said, it comes with the heart monitor, this one. Now, just to show you how this works, you simply press mode on the side and you'll take you, as you can see, going to all the different settings. Scroll right down to settings, press enter. Then at the top, it'll say run settings. Now what you want to do, press enter again, come all the way down to heart rate, press enter. And at the top, you'll see ant plus HR. Press enter one more time and it will say yes. Now what you want to do is you want to have the heart monitor right next to it. And once you press yes, it will sync up to the heart monitor. And basically what happens is as you're um, working out or whatever, it will keep a track of your heart monitor and it will register everything into the device. So it comes with a few bits and pieces. Firstly, it comes with the USB charger. Really nice system to it, as you can see here. And on the back, you'll see you've got these two ports and a really simple system with the USB device is simply you can see you've got the metal kind of prongs here and you simply just attach it into the slot like so and you plug the USB into your computer and away you go, that starts charging. You've also got the mains adapter for it as well which just plugs into a mains adapter like normal and you simply just put the USB port that I just showed you into the mains. And then of course it comes with the heart monitor, as you see here. Now this obviously is a strap design. You, re you wear this all the way around your chest, just underneath the chest area, and as you can see, left and right panels, and then you simply, on the back, got the tab, you simply slot it in, and you can adjust it via the tabs like so. But yeah, really great device, really good for, as I say, like triathletes, because you do have plenty of modes in there. So if I just go back into the mode settings, just to show you bit more about it. So as you can see, when you're back at the home screen, you've obviously got time at the top as standard, lap pace down at the bottom, and distance on the side there, which obviously so you can keep tabs on everything. And if you hold mode down, what you can do is you've got different settings. So you've got running, bike one, bike two, bike three, and other. These will simply, like if I select other, for example, these will change the settings that you can see on the home screen. So by going to other, it will change the bottom left to average speed, which is obviously great if that's something you want to keep tabs on. And again, just by holding the mode down, you can scroll through all the different, um, different settings. Just as a, a rule of thumb, the running setting is very similar, obviously, to swimming, because if I go into that, as it does your lap pace and the distance you traveled, so obviously really good for when you're doing laps up and down the pool, just as a, uh, just as a note. And finally, it also comes with this little device, which is the USB antenna. Now what this does, really clever feature, on Garmin's website, you can download what's called Garmin Connect. Now this is the software that is gonna work on Mac and PC, and it will register everything from your device into the software to make sure you can keep um, sort of tabs of how well you're doing, how you're progressing, etc., etc. And this device, you simply plug into your USB port on your computer, and the antenna will simply sync up with the device here. So you don't have to keep plugging this into your computer every time you want to store anything. You simply just plug the USB antenna in, as you see here, and that will log everything from the device to your antenna, and that will automatically log onto your Garmin Connect software. So a really great feature, plenty of modes and um, options, obviously, with the device. So that's the Garmin Forerunner 310 XT with the heart monitor.